Claire's Roots of Indian Canyon. I am a native activist as well as a lineal descendant of the land that I am on, which is Indian Canyon, which is Ohlone territory. And my mother and myself are Ohlone descendants, lineal descendants, on the only federally recognized Indian country between San Francisco and Big Sur. And as such, we uh, take care, of, we maintain the land for Indian Canyon, and we open the land for those in need of ceremony and for education, where we have seven lodges, we have a waterfall, we have people doing their home lechas up here, uh, they go on the hill for four days, four nights, we have uh, naming ceremonies transpire, we have so much going on here, as well as encouraging education, educational facilities to come up for field trips, for volunteering, for community service, and so we have um, worked with San Francisco State University to have amazing students with uh, native classes, native law, to come up to Indian Canyon to volunteer, to field trip, to learn about the native inhabitants that we are still here. We are living our culture, we are singing our traditional songs, we are living off the land, and we open this land for, as we open this land because it is a safe haven. And so we definitely encourage people to know about Indian Canyon and also look us up on IndianCanyonLife.org where I maintain the web presence and all the current projects going on. And so we had an amazing project transpire today, which was uh, April 1st, and um, this amazing individual, Jessica Orozco, had an amazing class come up and volunteer and help, and she's doing an amazing project with uh, restoring indigenous botanical plants, so. Yeah, um, right now we're working, I've been working on this project uh, since last year, um, the, the ending part of last year. What we're trying to do is um, remove this invasive species uh, called Vinca Major. You guys might know it as periwinkle. Um, it's a common plant that's uh, cultivated, but it's um, as with most cultivated plants that you get in a garden or any garden store. Uh, it's not native to the uh, the land here, and as a result, because it's not native, it um, its natural enemies, um, plant enemies, pests, or whatever, um, aren't there to keep it in check, so it goes wild. So what we're doing right now is uh, removing that species so that we can uh, make room for uh, native plants. And uh, this indigenous restoration project, we want to uh, focus a lot, particularly, at least for now, basketry plants, because that's what uh, that's what I know. I'm, I'm not a basket weaver, but uh, I've been studying with uh, Kathy Wallace weaving class at San Francisco State. She's an amazing um, Karuk, Yorak, and Hopi woman, and she's taught me a lot of my uh, indigenous plant knowledge. Uh, I am a botanist by train, formed Western style, like, um, so, but I also, I am interested in ethnobotany and uh, cultural uses of plants, and so I'm always learning, and I have a lot of teachers for that. Uh, so what we're doing at the at the um, at the canyon, basically, the the goal of this is to uh, spread awareness. Like she said, that we are still here. Native peoples are here on this land, and they have been, and they never left. And then we also want to connect people to their traditions, because. Uh, People uh, traditionally always had a very close connection with uh, the natural world, which even when you say that, we're a part of it. We are the natural world. We are all connected. Literally, we are made of the same nucleotides, if you want to get like biological about it. The same stuff that makes the DNA of plants makes our DNA too. We are all connected. And so this project is aimed to um, connect people back to their traditions, the plant traditions and knowing the plants and cultivating them and learning about them through the practical use of them. So, so um, also today we took a hike and you guys have the most beautiful, beautiful land. I just want to throw that out there. I learned a lot about the land here and a lot about the plants and what, how to use them, how to talk to them, and how to speak to them and see how they move and how they feel. So I want to thank both of you because I know Jessica taught our class today. <laughs> um, we were supposed to key a plant and we didn't get to it, but we learned a lot of other things. And then also, Kenny, you just taught me so many things about this and that. And you kind of reminded me of how I was when I was... Um, 
when I was living out in the four corners and like, oh, I know this plant, this plant does this. And you just learn plants by just being around them, you know, yes. and that's a lot of our way of life. So um, also with it, um, I know that you guys host events here yes. on this land. And so I know you have one coming up. I would love you to promote that. Yeah, definitely. We always encourage community service hours to be helped, but we have an annual event that's open to the public. Mm -hmm. And by opening it up to the public, yeah. we encourage families and friends to come up and learn um, from the native peoples who are here and our event is our 16th annual Indian Canyon storytelling and that is transpiring yes. on June 30th usually from 1 to 6 p.m. and we always recommend people leave a little early because sometimes they get a little lost yeah, um, it's hard to but find. it's uh, an amazing storytelling that transpires every year and it brings storytellers indigenous singers and indigenous dancer dancers as well as Mexica dancers and honoring the community and everyone together enjoying this presence that we have with each other mm -hmm. and also I, mm -hmm. I promised uh, an individual who's a musician I'd plug his band and he is Dr. T and the uh, Blues Criminals that's Dr. Theron Wayhill, who uh, has a blues band that he will be visiting us and uh, enjoy and uh, making an, an amazing performance during our lunch hour. So we, pr I promise to plug him. But mm -hmm. you can find more information at www.indiancanyonlife.org. We're also on Facebook. We encourage people to like us. And um, I'm just definitely here to promote Indian Canyon to help Indian Canyon because it's my life. Mm -hmm. I, it has always been my life to mm -hmm. just. Encourage networking and, and, and communication and understanding of we are honoring the past to shape the future. And that is my goal in my life. And everything I do is aimed towards that. Definitely. Thank you, you two. Definitely beautiful warrior women. Thank you.